Alright, I'm not trying to say that Josh might be attempting to get us in a bit of trouble, Rose Stone, but I think he might be attempting to get us in a bit of trouble, especially if we're going to need to go ahead and snag that hat from that bull. That just doesn't sound like a safe thing to do, and I mean, obviously no one else is in here right now, so I don't know about this, but let's do our best. Alright. Oh, there he goes! Okay, turn, Rose Stone, go, 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 go! Okay, I think we almost made it. Back to the safety. Ooh, did we do it? Did we do it? Yep. Okay, okay. Did we manage it? Did we manage it? <gasps> I think we did. Wow, there, you daredevil. That was dangerous. I mean, yes, but <laughs> you did ask us to go ahead and race right in there. Something tells me that this ranch isn't exactly one that's going to be holding everybody's hands during camp. They actually seem to be throwing us into the like thick of danger. That bull will not think twice about ramming you and your horse. You gotta be careful around that. I certainly didn't expect you to jump right into it. Do you always do whatever someone asks you to do? Hey now, that's a little bit a little bit cheeky out of you, I think. But alright, so let's see. Now that I've gone ahead and I've snagged that hat, I mean... Ah, oh, lucky for you, I have the perfect solution. Ooh, and what do we snag? Okay. Let's see, so the beast repellent, a foul-smelling homemade spray that's sure to make the beast leave you alone. Well, that's going to be pretty useful, especially if the rumors of wild wolves all over the ranch, like, wilderness is true. <laughs> oh, but do you have anything else to say? Do you know what beast repellent is? Um, no, but ooh, learn about weird safety product. I wouldn't mind going ahead and grabbing those summer tokens, especially after what I've seen with a couple of the saddlebags over there. And yes, Thistledown, I know, they do look delicious. We've had a bit of a beast problem lately, so we contracted Gary over here. He provided us with some home handmade repellent. Oh, don't worry, that product isn't harmful to animals. It just smells bad. Like, really, really bad. I gave you some, so go ahead and try to get that hat now. Okay, well, do I need to use it now? So, a foul-smelling homemade spray that ensures animals leave you alone. Okay. Uh-huh. Was I supposed to use it on him or myself first? Like, hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Me! Oh my gosh! Oh, so it sprays automatically! Oh, thank goodness. That, that definitely seemed like it was a skunk going by, though. So there you go. Gotta be careful around beast and use this repellent as needed. All right, well, you know... There's a lot to be said and desired for perhaps the safety protocols here, but hey, at least we're ready for another day here at Starshine Ranch. And I have to say, this is so beautiful. There are so many different things to do and so much to see. And we've already really enjoyed a little bit of a gallop around some of the wilderness areas and managed to find a few more bits and bobs of some of the gold nuggets, the literally thousands of gold nuggets that we would need in order to get that chicken! Oh, I don't know, Rosestone. You guys, this might be a little bit harder than I thought it would be, but I just, you know what? I mean, sure, we do have some pretty serious quests that I might want to go ahead and start working on, scattered absolutely everywhere, and we do have some pretty serious things to catch up on, with needing to go ahead and see how the years have passed for everyone else wandering across all of Jorvik and trying to see if we can discover what is different. But for now, well, I mean, why not just embrace whatever brings us a bit of delight and brings us a bit of an adventure? And in this case, that means going ahead and embracing the camp. So, little western camp coming on up and- <gasps> Be still my heart! Is this the shovel? Oh my gosh. I am so excited about the idea of being able to snag this shovel. Okay, do we have the shovel now? Because I will be really happy if I have the shovel. Because I did want to help out with all of the cleanup, Rose Stone. There are quite a few chores that we get to do as well. And what better way to go ahead and stretch our feet back here and stretch your legs now that you're starting to feel just a touch better than going ahead and helping. I mean, doing something constructive and doing something that that can make a difference in the world, even if it's just a difference in our world or a difference of scooping poop. Hey, you know, at least being able to do those kinds of things kind of cheers you up. It gives you a sense of progress and pride. 
And don't worry, Rosestone. We'll definitely work on giving you some more training. I know you really enjoyed the lunging that we did a little bit ago. But for now... <gasps> An adventurous dog? Oh no! Our foster puppy Atlas ran away again. We're not sure where he ended up, but he's definitely in trouble. Could someone please help bring him back to the ranch? Oh dear. All right, definitely have to help out with that. And then pick up a delivery from the ferryman. We received another delivery from the ferryman. As usual, he left it by the bridge to the mainland. I've got my hands tied today. Can someone go pick it up? Okay. And deliver rope to the Yorvik Rangers. The Yorvik Rangers at the station outside Fir Grove have asked for rope. We've placed a spare one outside the big house. Can someone take it to them? Oh my gosh. See, these things were just made for you, Rope Stone. Um, let's see. And since we've already gone ahead and uh, told everyone we'd help find the dog, we'd help go ahead and transport the rope, and we would go and pick up a delivery from the ferryman. Might as well get started, right? Also, I wonder what's going on in the big house. Is that is that actually? Oh, yay! There we go. Oh, what a cute spotty horse! Is this like the? Aha! Uh -huh. This is the stable where you could stay if we wanted to, my dear. But for now, all right. This is excellent. See, just sneaking in like this and trying to go ahead and reorient ourselves. Totally, totally not going to let anyone be suspicious about where we've been. We'll we'll just act natural. Do I remember where the bridge is? No. Do I remember where the ferryman is? No. But can we go ahead and at least pretend? Act a little natural? Try to go ahead and snag whatever we can? And maybe do a little bit of helping along the way? Sure. Ooh, and there's the gold nuggets. Oh my gosh. Ah! All right, how about we're not gonna have any trouble with you, sir? Not if I can help it. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe we can outrace him. Good job, Rosestone. We do have one more beast repellent, but you know, Gary seems to want literally like a gold hen's teeth in order to, to uh, you know, actually, what is going on over here? Oh, hey, yep, Atlas ran away again. I managed to spot a small trail. You should be able to follow that to wherever he ventured off to. Good luck. Oh no, okay, so we'll need to go ahead and see where that puppy went. Mary is the one who has the puppy. And also, what is this? Is this some more of... Yeah, those recyclables. With a bit of ingenuity, this can be turned into something valuable. And we can... Oh, cool! We can go ahead and we can actually sell it in exchange for being able to get some more of those shillings. So maybe that's what we can do to get ourselves more beast repellent. And a trail, eh? Ooh! One of the gold nugget little chasm things! Okay. Let's go ahead and do our best rose stone. You know? I can't complain about coming back. There we go. And just finding ourselves absolutely, yay! And now <laughs> finding ourselves surrounded by gold. I mean, that a gold rush is a good reason to go ahead and, well, have work to come back from where we disappeared to. All right, let's go ahead and gather up every one of these. And then there's a little bit more gold here in between the wolves. Sorry about the wild wolves. Oh my. So when they said there's some beast, a hoof around here. They kind of meant it, didn't they? Oh my gosh, can I at least snag that gold piece? Rosestone, I'm so sorry! <laughs> the good news is, it seems that we can outrun them. And the other good news is, it seems like we're going to where we need to go. Oh, dang it, we used up our only beast repellent. Oh no, it only works on one wolf? I would really prefer not to be chased by wild wolves, thank you very much. But, I mean, I suppose you can only dream for so much. All right, how we doing? Wow! You know, Yorvik has changed from what I remember. Let's just say that. All right, let's come down and see what we've got. Little package we can go ahead and pick up. Oh, but because, oh, Rosestone. <laughs> because you've already got the rope on your back, we're not able to do that. Well, let's see if we can level you up now. This is so cool. This is very new to me. All right, so let's see. So we have the ability to put you on the lead rope now. And bonding, your connection grows, but nothing is unlocked at this level. That's fine. There you go, my dear. Oh, that's so cool. I really, really, really love how we're able to do that. There you go, girl. I know, it's been quite a while since we've been here and it probably is going to be very, very nice indeed. Rose Cone's coat has been less shiny and soft than usual. Improve grooming routines. Good grooming really helps improve coat quality. Could be time for a bath. Plan one for sure. Could be due to a poor diet. Make sure Rosestone is getting enough vitamins and minerals. 
Let's go ahead and have a bath because I think we smell a bit like skunk. Oh, that's so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. I very high key love that. This is so delightful. Uh, I may have... Uh, well, you know, when I looked at the calendar, I was quite startled, Rostone, because it seems we've been away for, well, over almost two years. And to me, it feels like it was just yesterday. But obviously, especially considering everything that you've gone through, there have been a lot of changes. Alright, is this a good idea if... Ah! <laughs> no! Not a good idea, not a good idea. What if that's actually going to get rid of my my like precious chance of being able to actually poke around? Good job, girl. Of actually being able to poke around. <laughs> no, I hope that didn't get rid of um, my gold node because I need that if we're gonna have a chicken to add to our new stable. All right, and let's see, where do we need to go in order to deliver the rope that we've got up in Fergo? Okay. Maybe we'll do a little adventuring on our way up there. But all right, everyone. Welcome back to our adventures in Star Stable, where yes, this time around, we might have a little bit more of a immersive adventure than before. Definitely hoping to be able to sprinkle in some of the secrets of the wild that I have in mind. But you may notice there's something a little different about both myself and Rose Stone. And of course, Thistledown. And you guys will be learning more of that story in the future, but I will break immersion enough to say that I love this. Look at how amazing everything is. It has been so long since I have been able to run with, with any of my horses through the wilds of Jorvik, and it's changed so much. Whoa, it's changed so much. It's really changed so much. For one thing, Rostone can like slide on her rump down the entire mountain now. <laughs> But it is beautiful and it makes my heart so happy to come back and find all of this truly better than I remember. Okay, what was that? I got moss? Okay, and that was literally a bear den. Huh. <laughs> and as we settle in and grow less timid, as we gain a little bit more experience, and as we, you know, just go ahead and take joy in the world and see how it has grown and changed while we have been gone, I'm looking forward to sharing the adventure with all of you. Things are a little different, and there are a few mysteries that I really will be eager and happy to share with all of you. But for now, well, we have a gold rush going on, which makes me pretty excited. I, for one, participated in plenty of the Yukon Valley Gold Rush uh, pixel biology adventures as a child, so I'm sure that we'll be able to manage this. I mean, Look at all of this. This is so cool. I love how much gold is just like scattered around. Ah, oh, all right. There doesn't seem to be anything that wants to eat us for a split second here, girl. So let me go ahead and just... Well, I wanted to try to get a picture with all the gold, but oh, there's even gold back there. All right. Look, if we're going to go for gold, we probably really should like dig in, make sure that we, we crack this open. Maybe I need to go back and yearn for some mines to craft in order to get enough experience. But this is amazing! I know many of you have been enjoying the Starshine Ranch, Starshine, there we go, ranch experience for a very long time now, but I can't help but feel, oh my gosh. <gasps> Ooh! You can find all sorts of stuff even when you go back in the same areas. Oh, Rosestone, we are gonna be meandering around and enjoying our experience here in the wilds around Starshine Ranch for so long. This is gonna be amazing. Maybe we'll even need to go ahead and have some little secret trail rides with some of the patrons over in our Discord in a little bit, just to, just to relax and maybe not end up running into wild wolves again. We've got this girl. I have no idea where we're going. I didn't even know this place existed, but this is definitely one way to go ahead. Forget wild horses. Like, I need to worry about the wild wolves. Oh my gosh, there's more. All right, all right. Let's not, let's not panic. She's doing so good. I'm so proud of her. We've run away from wild wolves before. That time it was to help a friend. This time, it's to deliver some rope. Oh my gosh, right at the edge of town. How is it still chasing us? Okay, is it, is it gone? It is! Wow! So the Jorvik Rangers had a spot up here, and that's what's going on. 
Oh my gosh, I had no idea that the wolves would chase us like that far. And I mean, being chased by wild wolves and fleeing for your life is definitely one way to be able to get yourself very quickly from point A to point B. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Uh, potentially, I have some rope for you. Oh hey, you have the rope. Thank you. Tell the others at the ranch thanks from us too when you have the chance. Wow. That was, that was pretty exciting, but let's go ahead and review our loot at least. So we have some of the herding lures, which I'm excited to get my hands on. Um, I've also been gathering up like a lot of recyclables, so maybe we'll be able to turn those in for something special. And then we have the summer tokens, which are going to be very useful. And yes, Thistledown, I did see the delicious grass sticking out of a adorable saddlebag that we'll have to go check out. And apparently, there's some renegade chest where some sort of either, I'm trying to figure out if it's some sort of like a Robin Hood or maybe a thief or maybe just a very altruistic person hiding a whole bunch of chest with red scarves all around is doing something. And then we've been collecting recyclables and of course the golden nuggets as well. Ah. Oh. So we might want to figure out a way to maybe not worry about getting eaten by wolves more often. But for now, I guess there's a little bit of exploring to do, especially when it comes to the whole looking for the chests that the renegades have hidden. Five chests, I know you guys know this all by now, so it's just information that, in fact, to return to the immersion, perhaps we'll say that I, um, <clears throat> Rowstone, Thistledown, I've heard a little bit of gossip around the campfire that there's actually treasure chest hidden throughout the world that we can go ahead and find. They're sort of scattered about, and you have to have a renegade key, one of these weird keys that people are also finding all over the place, that actually, let's see, you have to have a renegade key in order to go ahead and, um, and open the chest, but... We'll have to see if we can find any of them. Everybody has all of the chests, like, everywhere at the same time. So maybe people will be able to give us some hints, but I'm a little shy. So the idea of talking around the campfire, I mean, not the most comfortable thing out of the blue. Ah, oh, hello, little one. Are you supposed to be out here? Or are you? Oh my gosh, what a cute little donkey. This animal seems lost. Better guide it back to Mary. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! How cute! So, Rosestone, this is perfect! Oh my goodness. Oh no, I love this donkey. Look at this donkey! Why are you so adorable? Oh, that's just too cute. Okay, Rosestone, if you're gonna go ahead and like start making some friends here, I have to say, that's just precious. So, let's actually see... I just, I just have to, I have to see these two together just for a second. Oh, that's so cute. That is just so absolutely freaking adorable. All right, but there's still a lot for me to go ahead and relearn and, you know, get my feet back under myself with. So it may take me a hot minute to figure out what we're going to do and where we're going to go. But do I have, so I have the herding lure. Oh, good. But it looks like this donkey is going to be just fine. Oh man, but that might be why we need to get some beast repellent. Because if we have a bunch of donkeys that could get eaten by wild wolves, that may definitely, I mean, obviously not be a good thing. Oh, look at it come! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I have never seen a white donkey with spots before and I'm actually extremely tickled. All right. Well, this seems like the kind of work that the deep forest, secret forest ranger definitely would want to be working on. Saving little animals helping out. Apparently I stepped in some manure and now we have some flies flying around us. This is just fantastic. There's absolutely no way you couldn't fall in love with all of this. Oh my goodness. Oh hey, and is this, what's going on down here? Is this the trail that Atlas was on? Huh. We'll have to keep an eye out. But let's go ahead and we'll drop off this donkey first. Hey Mary. Well, I declare, aren't you just the finest? Thank you, Saga. My little darlings are home safe and sound. They seem to have taken a liking to you, too. Aren't they just the cutest things you ever did see? I mean, yes. <gasps> oh, and then the donkey just lays right down right there. That is so freaking precious. All right, well, now we can go and we can try to brave the wilds to get another package, but I think we might want to take just a moment to pop up and see what we can trade all of these summer tokens for. Especially now that I know a matter of safety is afoot. Hmm. And I wonder what... 
What is this? Is this... Wait, is this Atlas's little trail? Is that what... Oh! Oh, is this puppy Atlas's little trail to let us know where he's gone? All right, we're on this. Like, lost and found, rescue missions for little lost animals. That is totally something that we can absolutely handle. And gold to token exchange. Let's see. So you can go ahead and exchange gold for a few tokens. And then you can come over and talk to Gary and admire his chickens. 3,330. Gary. Gary. I'm telling you guys. He wants golden chicken teeth. Like, he wants golden hen's teeth. That's how much he's charging for all of this. Ah. And then the renegade keys are 100 gold nuggets, but I wonder if that means that the chests are really, really worth discovering. Oh, good. And the beast repellent? Actually, not that much. And we'll go ahead and maybe snag some of that. And then we also have the herding lures that will persuade even the most stubborn animal to come with us. So let's buy a beast repellent real quick. Maybe a couple of them, since it looks like the wolves definitely travel in packs. And then, well, I think we're going to go out and we're going to have our little adventure. Continuing to go ahead and try to, like, find where all of the little animals are. And also, definitely worth popping over really quickly. And I promised Thistledown that we would look at it. I think we're going to be very busy with this gold rush in the countryside around Starshine Ranch. Because there's also... Not only very, very expensive chickens that we need to go ahead and uh, wrap up in our arms, but look at this. There's also little kits. I am so in love with these herdling kits. Like, look at how freaking cute they are. There's one for the beast repellent kit that totally looks like something you would just carry around if you were wandering the wilderness. There's the renegades kit. Even with a real renegade, Everything a real renegade could wish for when faced with the dangers of the wild. The chest is decorated with uh, fake leather details. And then there's also the herding kit, which smells like lovely, smells lovely to horse and rider alike. And I know this is the one that Thistledown really wants to get so that he can hide inside of the grasses and nom 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 to his heart's delight. Then there's also the gold miners kit, which I absolutely love and I would very much love to collect. And then finally, the west, the ranch's western kit, where there is a rope tucked in. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome, and I know that our little guy definitely wants us to go ahead and get the hurtling kit. Uh, but we're gonna have to go out, and we're gonna have to find enough of the gold nuggets to make that happen. And uh, it looks like I, I might need to introduce myself to a few of the people around here, and then figure out where we're gonna go from there. And we'll see if we can find a little lost puppy. Because, you know, Rosestone... It's odd. It's almost as though time kind of passes differently for everyone else than it does for us. It's almost as though what feels like just one beautiful day for us seems to be many, many different days for other people. I mean, I don't want to say maybe we've had some permanent effects after everything we've been through in the deep, deep wilds. And it makes a lot of sense if you think about what we managed to get ourselves up to. But, I mean, at least, let's see. Oh, thank you. Oh, Ziva. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Definitely seems like I need to go ahead and introduce myself. That's Ziva. She is one of our absolute most amazing patrons and, like, long-term people. I am so tickled. Oh, my good gravy. I got to go tell her I said, I, I, I mean, familiar faces are starting to show up. And hopefully they won't notice that we're actually quite a bit younger. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!